Google and Yahoo are setting new email standards. They require you to set up basic email authentication records. Hi there, I'm Jake. If you want to set up an SPF record for your email account, you've come to the right place. You might have heard about new Google and Yahoo requirements, but if you don't, make sure to check our previous video where we break it down for you. In short, SPF or DKIM are mandatory email authentication methods. If you want to maximize your email deliverability and secure your messages, it's essential to set them up. Today, let's focus on SPF. SPF stands for Sender Policy Framework. Its main task is to prevent spammers from sending emails on your behalf. SPF defines which IP addresses can be used to send emails from your domain. And that also includes services that handle email communications for you, like Mailgun or MailChimp. These also need to be included in your SPF. A quick side note here, you don't need to add a specific SPF record for Woodpecker, as technically we do not send any emails. All messages are being sent from your email account using your own servers. We just help you to initiate the sending process at the scheduled time. So, you add SPF records in your DNS to be recognized as a valid sender and help your emails be delivered to the prospect's main inboxes. If you don't set it up, the bad guys out there could impersonate you and send messages from your domain. Who knows what they will send and how it can potentially damage your reputation or entire brand. To set the SPF, you need to have access to your DNS and you need to add a proper record which you can find on the help pages of your email provider. In this video, I'll show you how to set it up on a Google Workspace account. But if you use other providers, check the description for help article where we include links to SPF guides of other email providers like Microsoft or Zoho. So the first step that you need to do is to sign into your domain account at your domain host. I have a test account where I can add some templates with different records. You will need to go to the DNS management section. First of all, I need to choose the type of my record. In the case of SPF, it always should be a text record. As a host, I need to put add here. And as a text value, I will need to copy a record value from my email provider. So as I want to set up a Gmail SPF record, I will just copy the value from our help article and paste it here. In the time section, you can leave all the settings without any changes. Now you just need to save it. That's it. The system may need even up to 72 hours to update your new records on DNS. If you already have your SPF in place, let's check if it is set up properly. Just in case, better be saved and sorry, right? If you're using Woodpecker for sending your emails, you don't need any external tool to do this. The process is simple. Go to your Woodpecker profile panel, click on settings, select accounts and choose an email account you want to check. Click the gear icon next to your email and go to domain checkup. As you can see, in my case, everything looks fine and my domain settings are correct. If you make any changes to your SPF in the future, each time from Woodpecker View, you will be able to refresh your settings and see if they are still correct and working in a proper way. Make sure to check out other videos on how to set up authentication records like DKIM or DMARC so you have a full package and stay on the safe side with your outreach efforts. And if you liked the video and want to see more like it, hit that subscribe button. See you in the next one.